what's included with the laser bob is a laser itself, a nylon pouch to carry it in, an adapter base which makes it easy to mount anywhere, a steel plate, and a hard case. The laser I have here is what we call the laser bob. It's a, uh, a four-beam laser that's designed to do interior layout on a small job site. It's designed to go over 100 feet, but at 30 feet less, there's, not, there's nothing faster. What it does, though, the applications are plumb, level, and square. It does plumb through the top and bottom beam. It does level through the forward and side beam. They're both levels. And then a the forward and side beam are both square to each other also. So what my partner Dan and I are going to do is we're going to lay out this job site. We need to put a wall down in the middle of this job site. So the first thing we have to do is snap lines on the floor, but they have to, we have to ensure that they're square to this wall here. So that's what we're going to work on now. What Dan and I are going to do, though, is we're going to lay out square the old way first to show you how good square works on a laser bob. So the first thing Dan and I need to do is we need to snap a reference line along this wall. We're going to do it at 12 inches. So go ahead, Dan, you mark 12 inches over there. And I'm going to do the same right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to snap a line through there. Good? Now, that's something that's parallel to this wall that we can reference to. Now what I have to do is I have to lay out the location of where the wall is going to go through. So I'm just going to fish out my tape to the wall. And then I mark 14 feet. Now that we have an intersecting point here, Dan's going to hold the other end of the tape for me and we're going to pull a 3-4-5 is what we call it. So go ahead, Dan. Now Dan's going to hold me on my point here. But because we're using a tape measure and the tip floats, Dan has to burn me on one inch. So as I go out here, I'm going to mark eight on my side. I have to remember to mark eight foot one. So I'm going to mark eight foot one. And if I forget to make mark eight foot one, we're going to mess it up. OK? Now Dan's going to stay right there, hold me on one again. And I'm going to mark six. But I have to mark six foot one because he's burning me on one. Now I always circle that mark so that Dan can find out where I went. Now what Dan's going to do is hold me on zero on that mark. Burn me on one there. I got to find my mark here. There we go. Now I have to mark 10 foot one. When I scribe these lines together, where these two marks intersect, if we snap a line through to the other mark, we should be square. But the problem with this process is, is it takes two people. If Dan forgets to uh, hold me on one, or I forget to mark on one, there's a chance of making six different mistakes. So Dan and I are going to snap it. We're going to check ourselves with the laser. He's got to hold me on that mark. You can bring it all the way to the wall. What Dan and I are going to do now is we're going to show you how to do it the new way with the laser bob. Down on the bottom is there's a beam that comes out of the bottom that we simply just put right on the, put that down beam on the intersecting point. Now Dan's going to take my speed square he's going to, and he's going to stand it up and put it on the edge of the line right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down Make sure that my dot stays on the line there, and I'm going to spin the laser until I split it halfway on that square. Now that I'm halfway on a square, now we're going to take the speed square and go to this side. And this line would normally be here, but we're going to take the speed square, is we're going to slide this square until we split the beam, right? You see what happened? 
or somewhere along the line, we messed it up. So, like I mentioned before, we had six opportunities to make a mistake. Well, we found one of them. And somehow along through the process, we made a mistake. And if we wouldn't have had this laser, we wouldn't have known and we would have built our walls. So the great thing about using a laser like this is you can count on the beams being square all the time. So what we did now is because we transferred that mark down now, we're going to resnap our line to there. So now the next application that we'll show you is now that we have the line snapped down the middle of the building, we can take the laser to transfer that layout that's on the ground up to the roof deck. So Dan's going to show you how to do that now. Dan's going to take the down beam on that laser and line it up with the chalk line. Now as soon as he gets it on there, that plumb dot is pointing to exactly where we need to go. So we climb up on a ladder and make a mark. So Dan and I have showed you how, how we take and we make a reference mark and we do square. And then we've also showed you how we take that, that square line that we did and we plumbed it up. Well, different contractors work in a different way and that's why we've designed this laser with this shape here. This laser is designed to fit over a piece of bottom track. So I'm going to show you how that works. This is a piece of track. So what we would do with the track is we'd put it down on our line, position it into place, and then we would fasten it down with a gun. Then, because of the shape of the laser, and there's magnets on the base of the laser, we can simply just put the laser up against the bottom of the track there, the magnets get in contact with the steel, and instantly the laser's lined up, and boom, there we have our layout. I told you that this laser does plumb level and square when doing layout on a small job site. Dan and I showed you how to lay out square, and then Dan and I showed you how to take that layout and transfer it up doing plumb. Now I'm going to show you how we can use this laser for level. We get this adapter base that also comes with the laser bomb right here. Now all you do is I take the laser and it locks on. On this side right here you can see there's some brass bushings on there. Those are designed that if you took a screw gun and an inch and 5 eighths drywall screw, you could actually mount this to a wood column. But if you're on a job site like this, which is ideal for this laser, and you have steel on the job, we have magnets that are built into the base. All you have to do is simply pop the base onto a piece of steel, turn the laser on, and now I can use the uh, horizontal beams on here to transfer around this room to give us a, a benchmark. So I rotate it to the front of the building, go up there, make a mark, and I'll rotate the laser around the room to the next area here, and I'm going to make a mark on the wall. Then I'm going to rotate it to the back of the room. Then go make a mark. Then I'm going to rotate it to the back other corner. Make a mark here. Then what I do is I connect all the dots by chalking some lines through this room. And what we've done is we've taken this compact laser here that fits in our pouch and it's taken the place of a rotating laser in a small room. The laser bomb is not only good for the carpenter contractor, but it's great for the mechanical contractor. With the plumb up beam, they're able to pinpoint the location of the threaded rod when they're hanging pipe. Also, if they take the laser and put the laser in the base backwards, the plumb up beam here lines up with the three legs on the bottom here that when I flip the switch, they expand and self-center that plumb point in a pipe or a hole ranging from two inches up to four and three quarters. So on the model here, I'm going to show you how I can drop this laser into this three inch fitting and it's going to self-center that beam. Pop the base on top, flip the switch, turn the button on. Now that laser self-levels, it's giving me the plumb point of where the pipe's going to penetrate the roof.